Executive Officer of Spell It. Good to have you. Good to be here. Well, it's an absolute pleasure. All right, so it's time for the spelling bee. How was the event last year? It was good. It mm -hmm. was very good. It was the first time that South Africa really had a national spelling bee. Yeah. And we had close to 2,000 schools uh, compete. So it was, it was a good start. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it, it took a very, very long time for South Africa to get something like that. It's it, been around the world for so yeah. long. Why so long? What, what, what was the delay? Well, a lot of people have done spelling bees uh, over the years. The library services have done a lot. Uh, different organizations have done many. I think it, it took us a while to all sort of get together and do it, you know, and I think the DBE deserves a lot of credit for pulling this together last year. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I ca ca you know, it took me a while to understand what a spelling bee actually is. Yeah. Um, a a am I right in saying that it's actually um, a gathering of sorts, yes. a get together, yes. a spelling bee? Yeah. So that's. Yeah, so it's an old word from American Midwest yes. uh, that means a gathering, and people would actually use bees for various things, you know, yeah. prayers and stuff like that. So this was a sort of a rural gathering. That, that would happen. Yeah. Uh, in, yeah. And how many entrants did you have last year? So we had about 2,000 schools enter from across the country. Wow. Which was good, but uh, as you know, we have 17,000 primary schools in the country. So okay. uh, this okay. year we're stepping it up and uh, we're looking at a close to 10,000 this year. Yeah. When is it taking place? So the, the, the final of the spelling bee happens on the 9th of October. All right. Yeah. Okay, so there's still a little bit of time, but it's actually, when I mean a little, it is around yeah. the corner. There's so much to do there's in the process of that. Mm -hmm. I keep lingering on last year because it was a first and obviously we won a better on it this yeah. year. Who was the winner? Who was the overall winner from it? So Brendan Craven, a young lad from uh, Bryanston actually, just up the road, yeah. won it. And then uh, very excitingly, uh, 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 Katlejo from... Uh, Limpopo came second, wow. and then Angel from Soweto came third. Fantastic. So we had a great what, spread. What, what yeah. are their ages? The ages of so them? these are grade sixes. Okay. So they're around 11, 12-year-old kids, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, the words are some words that some of us have never even heard of. Well, that's interesting because we don't, in South Africa, we, we, we kind of don't do what the Americans do. You know, where the Americans are spelling some really crazy words. Yeah. Our, our spelling bee is really focused on improving literacy. And so we use a lot of the words that the kids are using in class, uh, in their different subjects. And so it's really linked very tightly to the curriculum. Yeah, that, okay. that's what we try to do. It's good to hear because, yeah. I mean, that's a, I suppose that's a nice learning ex experience. And I suppose once the, the competition grows and develops and you start getting you know, more complicated and more complex words as you go along. Exactly. I mean, and we start, we start right at the, at the classroom level and it goes up to your sort of district, provincial, and then the final, uh, the national finals. I mean, the national final, the kids are spelling words that I wouldn't want to spell, you know, so... Uh, give me an example. Can you, can you give me an example? Well, you know, we, we use a lot of trick, trick words. Okay. So, so one of the big... Tsunami, for example. Okay, I can spell tsunami. Okay. T-S-U-N... A M I. Okay. Tsunami, right? There you go. Okay, good. Great. Tell me another one. Okay, how about googly? You know. Googly. The, yeah. So wouldn't it be G, double O G L Y? No, that looks wrong. E. e. Someone saying E. E Y. Googly. L E Y. It's exactly how you spelt it, but that's the point, right? So really? we, okay, we look so at it and we say it's wrong. Really? I'm doubting myself. Exactly. So it is googly. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and so we, we use a lot of those words. And I mean, kids would hear about a googly in a cricket match, or yeah. they hear about the tsunami that happened. So, so for us, that is more important than throwing them a word like canadal, for example. Yeah, which that is, means nothing to that them. That means nothing to them, but that was the winning word in the U.S. spelling bee last canadal. year. Canadal. Canadal. What yeah. is a canadal? What is a canadal is a Jewish dumpling. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh my goodness, and that was the winning word. <laughs> that was the winning word. What was our winning word as a matter of interest? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm really throwing you in the. In you the are, actually. Here. I'm trying to remember. If you don't remember, please don't worry about yeah, it. I'm, I'm, don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, it. It obviously wasn't as fascinating as a canadal. Well, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't as fascinating as a canadal, yeah. but it was trickery. You know? So, for example, a word that came up in the National Spelling Bee was thoroughbred. Yes, okay, I can get that one. I okay, think. and a lot of the kids got hooked on the bread part. Because they were spelling B R E A D. Okay. As opposed to the B R E D. B R E D, you know. And so what we saw was a lot of kids, and, and this has been a, a general trend through all the spelling bees, kids who read a lot do very well in the spelling bees. Yeah. So they would have seen thoroughbred. So the winner, uh, Brendan, had seen thoroughbred somewhere. Okay. And he was able to spell it. Whereas a lot of the other kids who had not probably read about a thoroughbred horse, uh,
tripped up there. They had gone all the way to the sort of last rounds and then they tripped yeah. up on a word like thoroughbred. You know, I think something like this is so vital because um, I, I and, 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 and I know I, I probably might get into trouble for even saying this here on television because we, we, we've, we've sort of got some, some lovely young interns that are working for us right now. Yeah. And I will see when they've written a script mm -hmm. because they actually don't even finish the word. They'll yeah. say instead of through, it'll be th are you? Yes. Um, and it'll be like your SMS jargon. Yeah. And it's almost like that is, it's normal because yeah. that's the way we speak and that's the way things are done. Mm. But it's, it's almost killing the English language or killing language and spelling as we know it. But, yeah. you know, something like this, it just keeps you in check, doesn't it? It just lets you know that's not the right way. There is a, another way to do things. Yeah, exactly. And also what we've seen is an excitement around spelling words correctly. You know, so this, so where kids are, I mean, a lot of people sort of blame our kids. I mean, I talk to my kids about, you know, don't spell, you know, yeah, SMS trying, language. Yeah, exactly, this SMS know. language, yeah. And yet what we're seeing through this is that a lot of the kids are actually getting excited. So they can spell thoroughbred, they can spell tsunami. Yeah. And so this sort of, you know, our kids are in class. And so now you sort of get this excitement and... Stunning. And that's been probably the most rewarding thing I've seen yeah. over the last year. Yeah, it's yeah. promoting a wonderful thing. Yeah. Okay, so so <coughs> we're in the phase now where you're saying, is it still in the school level now? So we're launching actually. So, oh, the, so it's just the launch The now. launch, well, this, the first spelling bee actually happens today. Okay. Uh, down in, uh, in actually in Lanasia. It's the first round at, at a school level uh, to kick off all the schools. But the launch happens on Thursday. And that's going to be at Saibono at 11 o'clock, where all the provinces are gathering. And yeah. Gauteng is hosting uh, the launch of the National Spelling Bee. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the final happening? Where is it happening? In the final usually happens in Pretoria. In Pretoria. Um, okay. At the National Library or a significant place like that. Yeah. Excellent. And mm -hmm. any details if people want to get more schools are not really aware of it and they've just heard about it, where do they get details from? Well, they need to jump on the bus very quickly and yeah. get to their district office. Okay. Because all the districts have been informed and have entry forms and word lists and everything they need to know. So they need to get to their district offices as quickly as possible. If they need any information, they can contact us at spellit at safrica.com. All right. Mm. Wonderful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank and you I very much. It goes off unbelievably well. But I, I hope, please, when, when the competition finishes, we want to get the winner in here. So on the 10th of October, we have a date. We'll bring, uh, we'll bring the winner of the okay. spelling bee into the studio. That'll be think? excellent. I think it'll be a great idea. So let's meet that, the best speller here in South Africa. Roger Dickinson, the CEO of Spell It, the spelling bee, the national spelling bee taking place. Uh, entries, really, you've got to get in. And uh, if you haven't already registered as a school, it's probably already too too late but try and get through to your department now and ask them at your provincial office if you can still be a part of it it's an incredible initiative i really do i love it i think it's it's good fun and it's uh, it's it's good learning at the same time all right